What's going on everybody? Crazy Clown Vase back at you with another vape review today and I'm gonna be doing Well would be doing the cheaper if, if it would work. Out of uh just like a lot of other smock products that I got. Smock, smoke. People say tomato, tomato, whatever, you know, I don't give a shit. The point is this right here is what I get. Well, not that. <laughs> it, it, the, the thing won't even fire, man. It, 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 it just... See, now it's gonna fire because it's in front of the camera to watch. Nothing. Um, it comes with the. Uh, this is the box that's gonna come in. I got the uh, blue one. Uh, I got it because I mean, a mod that lights up. It's a blue color. I mean, I'm a very fan of blue. People don't know me, and uh, they, it just caught my attention. Kind of was something out of a Transformer movie. It would it would it would have made more sense if it actually worked. But, just saying, from my point of view, I've tried sticking different atomizers on here. I've tried rebuilding my coals. Tried everything. Every, I've even searched the videos on YouTube and still have not found nothing to get this thing to work. I mean, come on, Smock, you're making devices with all these pretty little lights on them and... This stuff don't even work. I mean, but anyway, let's just go over the uh, aspects of what comes in the mod. Yeah, the kit. I got the kit. It's a uh, one T prib mod, one V8 baby Q, uh, two two point four co dual cools, pre-installed, one replacement glass tube, one user manual, the TFV8 big baby tank. The tank, uh, 1.5 optical uh, coils, USB cable, and spare parts. Now, as you see, you got your little battery safety here. That's probably the best thing that, they, that come out of this old mod, I reckon. At least you know. Uh, you got your manual. Basically, basically what you get with your every other mod and you get your charging port cables right here and uh, if I can get the thing out sorry it's just, this stuff is just and a replacement glass tank right there to go over the thing in case you break yours and stuff. And in my honest opinion stuff, well, why even give a spare tank and stuff if the tank won't run itself? I, I mean, I bought this thing brand new, paid. And I know somebody's going to comment and say I got screwed in this deal. I paid $101, $101 and bought it I read, um, at a, I bought it at a vape shop, and, uh, well, actually, I think I bought it, in honest opinion, I think I bought it at a tobacco shop, but that's just me, uh, but, uh, they were posing as a vape shop, and, uh, I sat there, and I got it, because, like I said, the, the, what grabbed my attention was the style, just the style of the thing, and, you know, I, I used to, when I first started out, I started off with, let's see, I started off with the E-Leaf, uh, what was it, 220 watt, I think, something like that, or 50 watt, something like that. I can't remember, but I used to do the, uh, the whole, um, <clears throat> This and anyway, in the TFVA, I used to use that a lot. The Big Baby Beast, whatever, you know, I, 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 I use it a lot. 
and you know it it worked for a while and then i started getting into more different rdas rtas uh rdtas and just trying a little bit of everything i've had every just about i've almost had there ain't too many mods i've had, I've had custom pair series and trading them like idiots and most of them got stole never got them back uh, just one of them things I, but anyway in my honest opinion if you're thinking about buying this mod and Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, it comes with a certification, it's a certified piece of shit. That's coming from me. Like I said, keeping my views 110%, do not care. Nobody thinks. I'm just going to give you my point of view and let you decide for yourself. But anyway, I bought this thing brand new. Paid that much money for it. And then went to vape on it. Had my batteries in right. Had the custom the coils that will come with the TFV itself that come with this in there installed I done everything right and it would just not fire it wouldn't fire took it back into the store oh this is your problem well that's not our problem because uh, we didn't make it so you basically just screwed me out of a hundred and something dollars for a kit that don't even work and if it wants a branding outside and stuff I take this mod out there and I shatter it to pieces but anyway since it's not I, I don't I don't think I'm not I'm not gonna go out there and do that but, uh, another thing I noticed about the TFV8 is the 510 you can't really see but that 510 right there watch this right here you see that how it's sticking up See, it, it presses down. It's not steady in there. It, it, it literally just... It, it You could pull it out. Maybe if my fingernails were a little bit longer. But anyway, you can pull it out and press it in. It's just loose in there, man. It, that's, it's not even making connection with the 510 connector. I mean, you dry, you put this thing on there, stuff, it won't even run. I mean, if it would, then it would be worth I even put this on different mods, and it still would not work. So, Smark, if you're going to keep making stuff with all these pretty lights and stuff like that, and you're charging out the ass for the product, then make something that actually works. You're putting all these freaking, I don't know, all these lights and... Crap, that ain't even necessary. I mean, you got the light up tanks now and all this crap. I mean, and, and half your products don't even freaking work. I mean, what is up with that? You guys really need to get on the ball. I don't know. I don't know if y'all made a like a deal or a bet with somebody that who could who can make the shine the brightest mod or the most outstanding mod, but. You could put a freaking, what is it, 24 inch or whatever LED bar light on a mod, on the biggest mod you can freaking, if you can make one big enough for that, anyway, but ones that you see on pickups, you can put a bright ass LED light on one of your mods. But that don't mean that, that, what's the purpose of vaping something if it won't vape? That is the objective. So you're supposed to, if, you, if you're going to sell something with a bunch of lights and stuff, common sense. Oh, it lights up pretty, but it doesn't vape. Fix your products. Now this is just, you know, this is just the, I don't know. I, I don't want to try any more smart products. And uh, I'm, I'm like I said, in my opinion, take my word for it. I know a lot of people out there that's got these, and they work fine for them. So you, but it's a, it's a, it's like a, a one in a million chance. You know, you can get a good one, you can get a bad one. That's any mod you get, but with smock, it, it occurs more likely. So, if my opinion, if you're thinking about getting this, don't do it. 
I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but just, in my opinion, if it was me, on the other hand, if I could ever, if I could ever go back and change my point of view on this thing, I wouldn't have even looked in the direction of it. But like I told you guys, I'm going to keep my reviews 110% for you guys. I'm not going to steer you wrong, as you see. I mean, I just threw the freaking mod across the room and stuff. I do not care at this point. But anyway... I thought I would just give y'all another rate review because just a something to hold y'all over because uh, I kind of feel bad that I haven't really uploaded anything. Uh, like I said, I was just rumbling through my stuff right then and just found this and forgot to do a review on it. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and bash this. But uh, yeah. Like I told y'all before, if it's crap, I'm going to take it out there and throw it right in the dumpster. Like I said, if it was pouring and raining outside, I'd go out there and do it right now, right on the camera, like I told y'all. Like I was saying about uh, the Zen Vapor, if, if his e-juice was bad, I'd trash it, but it won't. It was the best e-juice I've tried. It's not just because he sent it to me. I paid for it. But just because I'm keeping my reviews 110%, I give my complete honesty. So anyway. This is Crazy Clown Vape signing off once again. I hope you all have a good day. and Stay away from any smart products. I don't know. I've seen the mag come out. So, I mean, that might be a pretty good one. I don't know. I, I, I thought about getting it, but I don't know. Anyway, just... This is from me to you, Crazy Clown Vapes, signing off. Have a good day. Stay crazy. Stay off the st stinking cigarettes and stuff and have a nice night. Thank you.